In this lesson we're going to cover interior electrical light points and uh, interior lighting. Under the electrical you can do your electrical elements such as your general power points etc and you can also do your wiring. So if we just go to here right click on say a general power point here you can do your standard add or edit and go and bring it in and what you can do is create a, a 3D plate on the wall and a 2D view and etc and what it's going to look like in 2D. So basically if I just click over to here, let's click on that so I can zoom a bit closer and I can go and plop that on the wall there and I can go and grab a double one and whack it there etc. That's basically your power points, quite simple. If it's not moving exactly where you want to, just grab it and sort of just move it against the wall. You can take your ortho and collision off if that is creating any issues and bring it in closer then turn your ortho and your collision back on and you'll get them exactly where you want to. Coming along to your lighting basically that will allow you to bring in your uh, light fittings. Now basically if I just come and turn everything on here and we might just go and have a look at a camera in this room. Now if I go to my interior lighting what you'll find is, see what's happening here? As I move my light around the room, it's actually lighting it up. So I just sort of click on that there and go finish. Now I can touch the light and go into the properties and talk to you about what's happening there. So naturally what we've got here is you can have a bulb or a custom light. Under the light tab, which is something that's new to you, you can now turn on and off the light and you can also set what wattage it is. To do that just click on the edit button here and you should have in your database in your catalog a number of um, light sources of which again you can add or edit a light and give it a color and a scale and uh, a name etc to uh, bring in what wattage you want. On the 3D image on the side, see how I'm turning that around there? What you'll notice is that little red uh, cube or dot down the bottom here. Now that's actually the source of the light. To, to modify that is you come over here to your light position and you'll see how it's minus uh, 83. If I make that zero and click into here, you notice that that basically went up. So if I come down and say, okay, I want minus 100, and then sort of click away, you can see you can change the source of the lights of where the light source is. Now that's important simply because sometimes you might want to put a light in to actually give you a light source where you don't see the light fitting at all, but it's going to throw light up a wall or down a wall depending on the, the render that you want to do. So let's just come back to a 2D plan view for a second. And you'll see that the light fitting is a circle in plan view, but it was a light fitting as in that 3D image over on the right here when we're in a camera view. So now the last thing under lighting electrical that we haven't touched is the wiring. So naturally if we do the wiring we just sort of pick uh, a number of points and then sort of bend it and right click and finish and then you can go and sort of move that around and do what you like as far as how you want the, uh, the line drawn to where the switch on the wall is going to be. So just covering quickly under electrical we have our general power points etc our meter box circuit breakers quad switches and all that sort of stuff and then under the lighting is where you go and create all your ceiling lights and external lights and wall lights etc thank you very much